I remember the first time I met my classmate and friend, Nia Zalamia. It was clear she was very special. She was the epitome of kindness, compassion, and caring. It was a common opinion in our class that she would likely someday win the Nobel Peace Prize. She's the same enthusiastic and dedicated person that she is today. Nia is a general surgeon and a fellow of the American College of Surgeons. She was nominated for this award because of her outstanding work as a leader of the Memphis Mission of Mercy, a nonprofit organization that has made 22 trips to the Philippines since it was founded. Nia's parents, Renato and Norma Zalamia, were the founders of the mission in 1999. Over the years, the organization has recruited a small army of mostly Memphis-based doctors, nurses, and support staff who've treated thousands of people in the towns and villages of the Philippines. Nia's parents, Renato and Norma Zalamia, immigrated separately to the United States from the Philippines in the 1970s and found their way to Memphis. They met at an Al Green concert, married, started a family, and decided to raise their children in Memphis. Renato is a CRNA, nurse anesthetist, and Norma, who passed away in 2020, was a registered nurse. Their desire to serve the poor on a global scale helped instill in Nia a love for service medicine that she carries forward today. Over the past two decades, Nia and her mission family have supplied nearly $20 million worth of free medical and surgical care in the Philippines. Memphis Mission of Mercy has been able to perform surgeries that resolve difficult and sometimes significant health concerns in operating conditions that are far from ideal during their trips to the Philippines. When COVID curtailed travel, they continued their work by collecting necessary supplies to those in need. Despite these many challenges, Nia says that the surgical outcomes can equal or surpass those done in American hospitals. Medical missionaries create a special blessing, not only for those they serve, but also for the practitioners delivering the care. After more than 19 years of crisscrossing the Philippines to serve the less fortunate, Memphis Mission of Mercy has dreams of building a $5 million hospital in the city of Victoria's in the province of Negros Occidental. The dream is for a 40-bed community-based hospital featuring six operating rooms, including a large community space, a library, a small restaurant, and a chapel. The dream is on hold for now, but I feel certain Nia will make it happen someday. The Memphis Mission of Mercy is dedicated to the poor and the people who have nowhere else to turn, and Nia's passion for serving the underserved has inspired her colleagues at the UT Health Science Center to launch a global surgery institute to bring UT faculty and residents to be able to have professional and personal development through these service missions, not just to the Philippines, but to the world. Nia will be leading the UT efforts to launch the Global Surgery Institute. She has also recently been appointed Associate Dean for Student Affairs at UT. I think it's safe to say that Nia is not only an astounding and outstanding alumna of the Quillen College of Medicine, but she is a shining example of the living mission of the Quillen College of Medicine to serve the underserved in Tennessee and around the world. Congratulations to you and your family, Nia. Thanks so much to my dear friend, classmate, and colleague, Dr. Shasta Helsel, for the kind introduction. Good evening, distinguished guests, alumni, faculty, and mentors. It's with deep honor and gratitude that I accept this Outstanding Alumni Award. As with all accomplishments in life, whether they be personal or professional, we stand on the accomplishments, life work, and guidance of the people who have come before us. In my circumstance, I have my parents, Norma and Noli Zalamea, who began this work nearly 23 years ago. I'm grateful for their humility, for their generosity, for allowing me to work alongside them and learn about service medicine. I'm grateful for their guidance in showing me how to continue this work moving forward. When I first matriculated at Quillen College of Medicine, I knew that service medicine was my calling. I'm grateful for the learning environment, challenging and nurturing that was provided for me and continues to be provided for students there today. I'm especially grateful to all of my classmates, people who I call sisters and brothers to this day, for their support and their friendship and for them being colleagues. I'm grateful for my mentor, Dr. Reed Blackwelder, 
for teaching me how to work with empathy, compassion, and excellence. I'd like to thank the Quillen College of Medicine Alumni Society Board and the Quillen College of Medicine leadership. Congratulations to the class of 1982 for your 40th anniversary from graduation. And as with all classes that come before us and come after us, I will forever believe that my fellow classmates, the class of 2004, is forever the greatest class that has ever graduated from the Cullen College of Medicine. Thank you.